Hey guys, I'm Oliver from Engineering Samples. Welcome to our very first tutorial right here at the Engineering Sample Studios. Glad you tuned in. Today we are talking about the sub bass and kick ratio and what you can improve in your mix and um, yeah, talk about a little technique we are using here. Uh, first of all, we are in this uh, little project. Um, it's a construction kit of the Obscure Techno series we are working on at the moment and it sounds like that. Yeah, so what we got? We got this, yeah, massive techno kick drum. And this sub bass we've recorded from our MOOC Mother 32. And we used two plugins for the ducking effect. Uh, we used the volume shaper um, in combination with the track spacer. The track spacer has a frequency specific sidechain. And uh, yeah, we think we, we are getting the best results when we combine both of them. So um, we use the kick drum as the sidechain signal. And here you can adjust the um, low pass and the high pass. And this is just the, the dry wet. So um, every time the kick's playing, um, the sub bass is ducked but only from 20 to 150 hertz and just 25% in this case. So I will play the track and play around with the ratio. Yeah, so we can hear when, when we turn it off. Um, yeah, we got some, some problems at the very low end. Um, there is some, some rumbling and it's not that clean and tight. Uh, but both together work really well. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty all. Um, we got a little uh, section right here where you can adjust the attack and the release of the plugin. And you can hear the sidechain and work with uh, MS mid-side. But we just use this. So um, yeah, that's it. And um, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed our first little tutorial and more is coming. Uh, if you got some ideas or wishes what we should work uh, on next time, just comment below, let us know. Have a nice day.